welcome Denise Juno, Montana Superintendent of Public Instruction. an honor to be here tonight all the way from Big Sky Country. I am proud to be here as a Montanan, as an educator, as a Democrat, and as a member of the Mandan and Hidatsa tribes. And I'm proud to be the first Native American woman in history to win a statewide election. <laughs> My parents told me that education was the path to success, and they showed me by taking me to Head Start in Billings, Montana, while they were pursuing their own college degrees. My mom is here tonight, Carol Juno, as a Montana delegate. Thank you for all of your support. <laughs> Essential to my success were the teachers who invested their time and talent in me so I could go from high school on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation to Montana State University, go Cats, to Harvard Graduate School, and finally, of law school at the University of Montana. Go Grizz! <laughs> Teachers do the noble work of educating our children. Teachers do the work that matters. And we cannot thank them enough for the hard work they put in every day to ensure a bright future for all of us. Thank you, educators who are in the room and out there. As a teacher, I was an advocate for my students and their success. Now, as Superintendent of Public Instruction in Montana, I have the honor to be the top advocate for the education of all of our state's children. As Democrats, as Democrats, we believe that every child, regardless of background or ability, is entitled to an excellent education. Our, deter our determination to strengthen our schools, to provide a 21st century education for every child, compels us to work to re-elect President Barack Obama. Our commitment to create jobs for the American people and to grow our economy from the middle out drives our determination to re-elect the president. President Obama knows that education is the best investment an individual can make in themselves, that a family can make in his children, and that a nation can make in his people. That's why he made historic investments in higher education, making college more affordable, from community colleges to Pell Grant scholarships and student loans. President Obama knows that the value of education is not just in the equations our students memorize or the books they read, for some students, school is the only place where they get a hot, hot meal and a warm hug. <laughs> Teachers are sometimes the only ones who tell our children they can go from an Indian reservation to the Ivy League, from the home of a struggling single mom to the White House. Our schools are where we pass down our stories and our history, and in my family, that American history goes back centuries, back to the first residents, Native Americans. <laughs> President Obama understands that the Native American story includes both painful chapters and hopeful ones. He knows that the Native American story is part of America's story and that we deserve to be part of the American dream. That's why he welcomed the tribal nations to the White House and joined them at the table. He signed the Cabell Settlement to correct a long-standing injustice that the late Eloise Cabell, who was a warrior woman, spent 15 long years fighting for. He's made investments to prevent violence against women in Native communities 
and to increase opportunities for our youth and our veterans. When he brought health care to all Americans, he helped build hospitals, train nurses, and ensure healthy moms and healthy babies in tribal communities. It was a proud day in Montana when President Obama visited the Crow Nation and became an adopted Crow tribal member. In fact, I think there are a few of his Apsalika relatives here tonight. He was given a Crow name that day. It translates to, it translates to one who helps people throughout the land. That is more than an, adopt, an adopted name. That is at the core of who he is. That is his mission. And that's why this November, we will re-elect President Barack Obama. Thank you very much.